technical servers run by uh, individuals and organizations. So anyone can take the code, uh, run their own server, and uh, join the larger diaspora social network. So it's decentralized. So I can I can host my own diaspora yes. server. Yes. Okay. And it doesn't matter which server you you own. You'll you'll be able to communicate with all the other. So there are uh, all these uh, independent servers are interconnected, like yes. ERC. Yes. And so there can no be no central company decision like take it, take it down or no. censor it or do whatever. No. Okay. And even even if the project decided that uh, we only allow uh, these and these people yeah. to use the software, it's not possible because uh, we can't take the service down and uh, it's a GPL, so okay. it's uh, kind of uh, anyone can use it. Could I uh, make censorship on my own uh, hosted uh, diaspora server? Can I say I only accept this yeah. disguise? Yeah, sure. But then other people would find other servers or would yeah. create their own servers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we, we do recommend uh, that anyone running a server sets up a terms of conditions because uh, different legalities in uh, okay. countries and so... So I can make my own rules and enforce them yeah, on yeah. my own server? Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. Uh, you, you um, have felt an, an increase of, of demand uh, about diaspora since the new Facebook regulation or since the Snowden uh, revelations that all communication is protocol. You, you feel that, um, that there's more interest to, to your project? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, uh, as one one guy said, um, every time Facebook does something to the terms and conditions, there's uh, <laughs> you, like you, a you get spike. small spike. <laughs> and um, there's also been spikes for other reasons, like um, uh, there's um, a social network called Elo recently. Elo? Uh, Elo. Uh -huh. yeah, it's, a, it's a proprietary, okay, it's uh, yeah. not open source, but uh, they, they uh, had uh, lots of uh, visibility and, uh, and also that created visibility for our project as well because people okay. were like looking for alternatives mm -hmm. so every time someone looks for alternatives it's uh, okay. yeah yeah we and see wha what is your role at diaspora you are involved in the development or in the, in the um, public relation team um, we don't have uh, strict teams yeah uh, we have a uh, it's a community project so we yeah. have um, uh, all the community uh, uh, governs uh, I'm a uh, generic uh, contributor and a okay. core, core community member, uh, so I do development and... Uh, but you and get nothing paid for developing for Diaspora? No, no, there's no... You do no it in your free time? Yeah, yeah, all the contributors are, are uh, developers. Can, can you um, explain why you, why you code in your free time, unpaid for... Um, that so that people can chat? <laughs> <laughs> what? For us, you know, for us. Yeah. It's, it's for fun. Us. It's fun. And you, you um, like working unpaid for us? It's, it's, uh, I, I don't see contributing to open source as uh, working for someone. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it creates a sense of community. For example, uh, this is a great community. Uh, we, we're actually at a conference uh, repre okay. representing uh, Diaspora for the first time as a community project. Okay. I've never met these guys and I talk to them daily and it's really it creates a uh, community. Oh, so, so you met here in live uh, people yeah. you uh, know online before from yeah. the diaspora yeah. uh, uh, kit contributors? Yeah, because okay. we're a global con uh, okay. community and... Um, and uh, but beside the table get you any benefits like uh, did you pay you the, the transport or the hotel fee or something? So uh, did you get you anything out of it? No, Diaspora became a community project in uh, August 2012. Yeah. Before that it was a startup in yeah, uh, yeah. New York. Uh, so we don't have um, uh, proper like um, a legal uh, okay, yeah. uh, organization behind yeah. it. We, there's uh, uh, some of the core community feel that there should be and maybe we'll have, we'll okay. have one. But at the moment uh, everybody just uh, pays for their own. <laughs> so you, you not even uh, contribute your time when you code, but also here if you talk it's all on your own time and you paid your own yeah. travel expenses. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, one of the best weekends I've had in a long time. <laughs> Speaking about my uh, favorite favorite open source project. Okay. <laughs> so can you can you say uh, what roles are open if you want to contribute to the diaspora project, but are not a hardcore coder, but if you have more yeah. general skills, is there still a role for you that you can fill? Yeah, sure. Um, one of one of the biggest things so we're actually looking for is someone is uh, listening who's who's an active diaspora user and uh, likes that sort of uh, thing is. We really need someone to uh, do community management because okay. uh, uh, most of the core contributors are actually coders. And okay. uh, coders, 
I'm not yeah. necessarily good with uh, uh, like <laughs> PR, for okay. example. So, so yeah, so we're uh, people with people skill who yeah, like posting, yeah. reading posts, linking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we uh, really really would like to have someone uh, step up to do that, and also we need uh, people to um, uh, test test issues. Uh, so okay. for example, uh, test new code and. Um, okay. And uh, uh, generally, uh, people interested in uh, like uh, uh, designing uh, uh, stuff, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do okay. as a community. So you uh, and if you are a coder, what what languages would be uh, advisable for your project? Which uh, coding languages? Uh, uh, there's the moment? Two, yeah. two. There's uh, Ruby on Rails, yeah. and uh, then uh, uh, the front end side is uh, Backbone JS, uh, so okay. JavaScript. JavaScript. Yeah, so those are the two languages you mm. need to yeah. um, need to know, and, uh, and um, yeah, it's uh, we we have good uh, documentation. So anyone is interested, uh, just a uh, project page, uh, diasporafoundation.org, and uh, okay. and uh, there's like uh, get involved button. And, and from your personal experience, you can recommend getting involved in this community project for no pay. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's uh, really. Cool guys here. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. thanks a lot.